I'm not that type to sit on shit. That's not healthy. But um, yeah, I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday just about this um, idea of, you know, he had mentioned, you know, when you're doing well in one area, that means you're probably not doing as good in another area. And I agree with that to a certain extent, right? Because it's like, yeah, if you are focused in a different area, you may not be, you may, you may not be successful in other areas because you're using more of your energy in another area. And that's very true. So he was very, very true, about, like, factual about that. But it doesn't mean like what we were talking about was like getting to the money, right? And sometimes when you like always focus on getting to the money, you may take a toll on your health and all that stuff. But that's not good. It's like to be wealthy and sick is not fun. You know, you may have um, the funds to take care of your sickness. You may have the funds to kind of take care of your sickness, but that's not fun at all. So it's like for me, when I think about success and when I think about wealth, it's more than just money. I think back in that day, it was really money focused. Um, and it was really focused, money focused because I really needed the money. And I say I don't need the money universe because the money keep coming in. I love money. Um, but it was like nothing else really mattered, you know? And, you know, eventually when you make really good connections and really good friendships and just, um, you just see the wealth around you that's more than just money. Cause that's what I began to realize. I began to realize that it's more than just money. That the wealth around me is more than just money. And I've been grateful for that. I've been grateful to realize that before it was too late. You know, it's like, you hear about these celebrities um, and, you know, doing on drugs and and suicidal. And it's because a lot of them cut themselves off. And I get it. You know, it's a whole different ball game when you have all this money and you don't feel like you can trust people. I totally understand that. But that's why you want to make sure that you surround yourself with good people. That's why you want to make sure you surround yourself with good people and you have good people around you. So that's what I'm saying, like wealth. Wealth is more than just money that you have in your pocket. It's the relationships, it's your health, it's the love that you have for yourself, it's the boundaries, it's the way people view you. And I'm not saying this in a way like, oh, you know, care a lot, a lot about what people think about you. I'm not saying that. What I'm mainly saying is like, how do you want your karma to be in the world? Because I do believe in karma. How do you want your karma to be in the world? You know, like, do you want people to look at you and be like, dang, like, she really helped me. Dang, she really good person. You know, do you want them to be like that? Or do you always want them to be like, dang, she a bitch? Now, I'm not saying that some people are not gonna think you're a bitch because they me. And I think that's okay depending on what the situation was. I think that's okay depending on what the situation was, but hold on, I'm trying to get my lips together. I think that's okay depending on what the situation was, but I think at the end of the day, you do want to be a good person. I think at the end of the day, you want people to remember you fondly. You want them to be able to recommend you for things. And if the only thing they can say about you is that you're a bitch or that you're always trying to get into fights or you're always arguing or that you're not a good friend or to not trust you, then that's not a good thing, girl. You gotta change how you come off to people. Try a little harder, you know? Because I just, I think ultimately that does matter. I know it's not like, oh, your whole worth is valued on what other people think of you, but at the same time, like, I know I want people to think of me fondly. I want them to know that I truly cared and 
I like helping them and that I'm a good person, but I'm also a person that, um, I'm also a person that fucks with myself heavy. And if there's certain things I don't agree with or I, you know, I have my boundaries, but they know that I respect myself. I know one thing that my girlfriend really tells me that she likes about me is that she knows that I love myself because of the way that I may talk about boundaries or talk about myself or the things that I want. Like it's not, I'm not the type to like wait and let you know what's on my mind. I'm the type that's gonna tell you what's on my mind when it's on my mind because that's important for me for you to know. Like whether whatever you decide to do with the information is up to you. But it's important for me to let you know this is what's on my mind and I'm gonna let you know. I'm not that type to sit on shit. That's not healthy. That's not what I do. And so at least people know that I love myself. And so I think that's important too. What y'all think, y'all? I think this is cute. I think we can add a little uh, heart or something. I have some art stickers. Let me see. All right, some heart uh, stickers. Let me see. Let's see. I had gotten this from um, friends. This milk. Where am I going to put them? I used to put them on my face because that's so cute. I hope I can do this right. Or are you going to do a mole? You going to do a mole, girl? We can do a mole. Let's see. Oh, God. That did not come out correct, y'all. Let's wipe that off. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I'm going to have to. Ooh. Got to get some fucking foundation. Where's the foundation? Hide that up. Get some of this. Okay, maybe the heart wasn't going to work today, y'all. This thought was gonna be cute. <laughs> you think it covered up? <laughs> um, but yeah, you just wanna be known as a good person. I mean, I think that's good. Some people may not give a fuck about not being known as a good person. They just want people to fear them and respect them. That's up to them. I I believe that karma is real. I've been told that karma is real from spirit, so I believe that. I believe I've been told that I've built up enough karma for myself that's gonna continue to give me good shit for a very long time in my life. And so for me, if that's not an incentive to be a better person, then I don't know what is. It's like, if you want the universe God created them to bless you, then how are you blessing yourself? You can't be blessing yourself if you're a headache to other people. You can't be blessing yourself if you always start and shoot with other people. Like, what kind of life is that? And you wonder why you don't have no friends or you wonder why people don't like you. Like, why? Like, have you, have you looked inside yourself to see like, well, what am I doing? What am I doing to have people not like me? What am I doing? That is calling, telling people that is letting people think that I'm the crazy one or that I'm always getting into mess. If you always get into mess, my sis, if you always get into mess, you need to really, really reevaluate yourself. I know we can look out, 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 out and be like, oh, it's them, it's not me. Oh, it's them, it's not me. But you've only said that for so long. And so if you're noticing that you is always getting into some mess with some people, have you sat back and looked at yourself and see what was happening with your new? And then if it's really other people, why the fuck you around them? Because that's my other question is, if it's really other people, why are you around them? And so then if you start to eliminate yourself from being around those people and you notice that things have changed for the better, then maybe it really was those people. And that can influence us. The people that we are around can definitely influence us. So reevaluate. Either way, you have to reevaluate if it's them or if it's you. Somebody, you either got to change something within yourself or you got to change the environment around you. Um, but that's all I have for you, selfish babe. This is my first makeup. Ooh, I like how it turned out. Y'all can see the little blue still here. I'm not gonna, hold up. <laughs> excuse me. I'm not gonna change it just cause I don't feel like it. But I'm proud of myself, y'all. I saw this girl do the brown outline with like a nude in the middle and gloss. It was so cute. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna try to tag her Instagram. Or if you're um, on Instagram, I put this on Instagram. No, I'm, I don't know. I put a, po a snippet of this on Instagram because honestly, uh, I want this to be on my podcast first and then on YouTube and these can be broken up into like minute videos so y'all yeah, can get a snippet but thank y'all so much selfish babes for watching I really appreciate you um if you're watching this video I'm not sure when I'm going to release this one but I am sending out weekly prayer text to selfish babes and um not through the selfish babe app through your phone so 
I will have a phone number affirming so when this releases down below in my description on the podcast or my YouTube channel, Olani K O C. Um, and really what I wanted to start doing is to send y'all a prayer. I'm a really good prayer because I understand the power of my words. The, these prayers are not religious. This is a spiritual thing. This is an affirming your life. Just like the affirmations I send through my self-love app, Selfish Babe. These are longer. These are more specific. And I really want women to have them because I don't think a lot of women know how to pray in a way that... Ha that um, puts them in a, a position of power. They pray from a position of desperation and that's not how I want you to pray. And so eventually I will have something teaching you how to pray. I do my pray for your damn self affirmations in my prayer workshop that I people pay me to get flied out, flewed out, and for me to host. Or sometimes at retreats I do, there to do it too, but I haven't actually done an online workshop and I may do that soon. But I still want to be able to give you exact prayers that will help you and change your life, that help you get the things that you want, and to help see yourself in a place of power. And um, I'm going to start sending out that through text message. So you can look at the number below and you can text me. After you text me, you're going to get a form, fill it out. And, you're gonna, and then weekly, once a week, you will get a prayer from me that I have made. Like nobody on my team is literally coming from me, coming from my spirit, coming from the divine because um, I know my one of my big major purposes here is to really help a lot of women to first help myself <laughs> but it's to really focus on women and uh, women being in power and women connecting with themselves and so I just know this is a part of what I'm supposed to be doing and so I really really want to send you this prayer so please um, text me the number below okay text me back and save me as Olani K O C the selfish babe okay <laughs> All right, my loves, I think I'm going to go. I love you so much. I'm affirming you have an amazing day. And if you're listening to my podcast and you're like, oh, what the fuck is she talking about? Like, I can't even see nothing. I know y'all, but I really wanted to do it. But you should really look at this video on YouTube because I look so cute. All right, y'all. Bye.